Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to change the code mQuery code in Power Query. Uh, so before we start, I would like to start by saying that 80% of the time I would not recommend changing the M code and I would recommend changing via the GUI because you might break things. Uh, so it's, it's pretty hard to interpret sometimes. So it's in most cases it's best not to touch the M code, but we will uh, sort of just cover an easy scenario here and uh, we'll uh, go through it. So I've got this Power Query file open here with me and uh, I'll just go to the home tab and then I'll go to the transform data tab and click on transform data. And so for example, let's say I want to make a few changes to the name. So on the right hand side, we can, we've got the, we've got the steps and we can view the steps or the M code by going to view and clicking on advanced editor. So essentially you can see it's just pointing to the source, which is localhost. And then we're getting data from adventure works and we've got a dim customer table. So let's say now I'm going to just make some, I'll just add some spaces geography key and I'll say, so it's added a step and it, we've got customer space, alternate space key. And then, so let's say first space name. And then I realized, hey, I don't want to have uh, a space in the geography key. And you can see on the right hand side, it's just added one step for these three changes. So in this case, we really need to go into the advanced editor and make the changes. So I'll just go back, click on advanced editor. And you can see it's uh, bunched together all these commands as one. So I will just carefully remove the first one and I'll keep the other ones. I'll just click on done. And you can see here that the geography key has reverted but the other things still stay the same. So it was one instance where we discussed how to change code, the mQuery code for Power Query. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Even before I end, I would still recommend don't make changes via the advanced editor and use the GUI or the steps to make the changes. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do uh, subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.